Hey, what's up everyone? It's later on today. Um, I didn't really vlog too much today. I don't really know why. Um, but we just went to Irvine Spectrum. I tried to get my mind off everything. So we went to Dave & Buster's. I did a review a little bit. Um, maybe like for an hour at a cafe. And after that I kind of like turned off my mind. I might review a little bit right now. Um, right before I go to sleep. It's about, I think 8.30 right now. Um, I ate dinner already. I'm going to get everything packed up. And then while I'm packing for tomorrow, I'm going to like listen to um, the recording. I My main two sources were UWorld and the Mark Climic. I tried to use a little bit of ATI. I did the green light for my program. Um, wasn't that helpful, so I don't suggest it. Other than like I got money for doing the program. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't even know if I'm going to vlog tomorrow because I'm kind of like, I don't even know. Like, I should because like, you know, like I document like a lot of my, my nursing school stuff. But, you know, like my NCLEX is very like private and, okay, no, it's not private because my license is on the thing. But, I don't know. I just like don't want to record myself crying. I know I'm going to cry. Like, everybody cries. I literally like binge watch everyone's like NCLEX vlogs and they were like, freaking out and I was like if they freak out I'm probably gonna freak out too but right now I'm honestly very calm I think it's because I took the day off I didn't really study too much I'm going to review just a little bit maybe do like a tiny bit of questions just cuz I don't know for me personally and I'm pretty sure there's some studies done where if you study right before you go to sleep you'll more likely retain it because you sleep on it you know that's like the phrase sleep on it but yeah, I'm going to get ready. Um, Alex did buy me some Bevita, so I'm going to take that for my snack. I'm probably going to take two of those and a banana or something because I am taking my test at 10 a.m. So it's a pretty solid time. Like, I'm really happy with, like, the time I got and the fact that it's Saturday. There's not going to be too much traffic. Hopefully it is. We did drive there, and it was a little bit far, but I'll update you later because I, I'm just going to get ready. So update, it's about 8.30 right now, 8.45 almost. I went to Starbucks, fun fact, if you bring your own personal cup, I feel like they give you way more because this is the Trenta and I ordered only like a towel. So this is like a lot. Um, I also ordered oatmeal because I need to eat something before. Um, but if you don't know or kept up with me, like I literally always intermittent fast. It's 8.45, my test is at 10. I'm gonna get there at 9.30. It's literally right across the street. Not even across the street, I could walk to it if I wanted to. Um, I'm way too early. <laughs> I anticipated 45 minutes, because on weekdays it's 45 minutes, but today is Saturday, so. Yeah, I already had my mental breakdown, Jesus, in the car when I was listening to like, Hillsong. So, I feel like I cried out all my fear. <laughs> um, I'm feeling okay right now. There's really nothing else I can do. I'm gonna go over lab values and maybe like just run through, um, cause I forgot to bring all my notes. So I might go through like someone's online cram notes and just like read over it. So I have like an hour almost. So I'm just gonna do that. Um, I'm probably like subconsciously nervous, but like it's like controlled right now. I've just been like praying for peace. <laughs> Because I'm not going to get it if I try and calm myself down. Um, okay, people are staring at me, but it's fine. I'm at McDonald's because I didn't want to go to a Starbucks because it was like a half mile away, but I didn't want it to drive. I'm going to eat my oatmeal. Um, I'm either going to update you right before I go in or after I get out. Right now, all I can do is like, pray for peace and pray that my anxiety goes away. Okay, the nerves are definitely kicking in now, but I'm just gonna listen to more music. I'm gonna stay calm and I'm just, it's like 9.30, no, not even 9.30, it's only 9.15. Um, 15 minutes and then I'll walk in. Um, the parking lot's pretty empty. I don't know if it's just because people don't test on Saturdays or maybe they're parked somewhere else, but I just decided just gonna relax for the last few minutes because really what can you learn in like 10 minutes 
Um, and just pray now because that's all I can do. Literally, I was like sobbing on the way here because no matter how much you study, like, I didn't even know where I was going without that. Literally, I'm just like so, I need to calm down. So I was watching a bunch of videos and I know that like some girl, she had um, actually taken a break at like 35 questions and then hers stopped at 75. So I'm like debating, should I take a break so maybe I'll be refreshed or should I just keep going until 75 but then if it goes past 75, should I take a break? Because I'm like, I've really only, like I've done around 150 questions a day but I break them up. Like I'll take 75 and then I'll take another 75. Um, and yeah. The only one that I felt that was very like conducive to what this would be was my self-assessment. I don't know if I talked about it already, but I took my self-assessment last week. So I just wanted to get a feel for where I was at. Um, and I was really nervous for it and it made me feel like as if I was gonna take the real exam. And I thought that, that was good. Um, it was 100 questions, I used UWorld, and I was like scared because I was like, I didn't feel like I was where I should have been because I hadn't really studied because if you know, I took a vacation, which is like, honestly, I didn't know that I would be taking the job that I took, so that's why I went on vacation because I was like, I have my whole life to work, blah, 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 but I don't regret my vacation. It was only like four days. So I went to Cancun and everything and I don't think that was that bad because when I came back um, I started studying um, but the thing is like I don't even know I have so much extra time but I don't know why I'm acting like I have like no time um, yeah I okay anyway back to my self-assessment I took you world I used that for most of it I have like 400 questions left that I haven't used um, I just couldn't finish the whole thing I was literally going crazy that's why I moved up my test date it's supposed to be next week but I moved it because I was like I can't do this anymore I'm going insane um, but I did take the self-assessment and I think that kind of boosted my confidence at the same time it made me question the validity of it because I scored a very high and I wasn't really studying like hardcore studying like that self-assessment was supposed to assess like where my weak spots were and like I had done like really decent on it I guess decent for talking about like all this other stuff but anyway I scored high on it, it I had a it was like the highest one, very high likelihood of passing the NCLEX and it boosted my confidence a little tiny bit but it made me question like is there even, is this real? Like if you follow me on my Instagram, Jazzliners, I might switch my Instagram names if I pass, no when I pass this test I'm going to switch my Instagram name but right now I'm like MIA on both my social medias, I've deleted both of the apps, I didn't want to be distracted and I don't want to feel like pressured right now so I deleted both of them but I also like asked you guys like oh is you world even valid like I felt like my score was way too high but I don't know um, maybe I was just good at eliminating process of elimination but yeah okay I have like a little bit more than 10 minutes left I'm going to listen to my Jesus music I'm gonna pray because that's all I could do right now and I feel like every video they like talk about how they prayed so hard and like I literally prayed like the whole way here which is like a 30 minute drive but now I just need to like calm down, listen to some music, and then we'll walk in. So I'll see you guys later. And hopefully I'll be done quick. Oh my gosh. I'm not really a fast test taker, but I'm like an average speed. So most people, I don't know, I need to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Okay. I don't even know to be happy or sad because I could be like really good at it and like I finished in 75 I feel okay but like okay there was a lot of mental health but the problem is they'll recur your questions if you get them wrong but I'm good at mental health so why the f did I get so many mental health questions so that's why I'm fucking freaking out because I'm like what if I fucking flunked in 75 and then in the middle of it I started thinking like oh my god like 
like like mental health is like what I want to do so that's why I was like okay well know any of these questions then I'm like stupid like I shouldn't do mental health because I'm stupid like probably like 50% of it was mental health their psych drugs and their whatever I turned off around 73 I turned off my thing even though like duh, there's only two questions like I can count that on my fingers but I turned it off because I didn't want to see the numbers but then I turned it back on at 75 my dumbass and I was like you know what it's fine if it goes past 75 if it goes past 75 i'm gonna fucking take a break and then come back i did have to pee around like question 40 so i took an unscheduled break because i was like i need to pee and i know that whenever i need to pee i have like issues like thinking i don't know I do let you have so i use the earplugs that they give you and i threw them out but i use the ones that you put over your ear too because i didn't want to hear anything because i'm used to it being like completely silent i really hope that i pass Oh my god everyone pray for me i'm probably not gonna vlog anymore because i'm gonna be really upset and i don't want to talk about it anymore i totally thought people were being over dramatic when they're like oh it's such a waiting game waiting for my nclex but they're not lying hey everyone so today it's monday i just got back from the gym i stopped by sally's because i was like kind of fed up with the orange in my hair i'm gonna try and tone it myself because i really don't like that my roots are so light <sighs> should i get some starbucks i haven't gotten starbucks in a really long time because i studied there all the freaking time whenever i was studying for my end click did you need a starbucks in 10 stories uh yes please you got it you too like the reason why i like having a straw because i don't like to suck on those like strawberries and it's kind of gross um also they call me doris because um when i registered for this app I was using my mom's card <laughs> and I don't know how to change if anyone knows how to literally change literally have never used any of these products before but it's already getting darker so hopefully that's a good sign I have no idea I just knew that this had like some green tones and I knew that that would cancel out a lot of my reds okay so update if you're wondering why I didn't even film the rest it's because it kind of it resembled that one episode of Sweet Life Zack and Cody <laughs> things from typo and literally they were like a dollar this one two three was a dollar and then that was also a dollar so i'm writing my to-do list and i want to be productive i want to edit my videos i might if i i really should be like making more videos i just need to talk to someone so i'm here talking to a camera um i keep having to moisturize my face because my face is already dry but after I put like all the toner and I like washed it all off, it got on my face, so my face is super dry. And I know nobody really gives a fuck about that. Um, literally home alone with my thoughts, so I'm gonna check the board of nursing again, even though it's not even technically 48 hours. Well, technically it is, but it's not business days. I don't know because I am psyching myself out because like I keep looking up my mom's and her shows up but mine doesn't because I don't know. Like every time I see there's zero results it freaks me the f <sighs> Like I get it like I took it on Saturday which is like I don't have any complaints about the actual like my experience testing because it went as smooth as smooth gets because there was no problems with parking I was so quiet like they let me in 30 minutes early there was like so many open computers um so it was very conducive to like my ability to take the test but like this waiting is insane and I know that it's great because like at least like I didn't have a bad testing experience all I have to do is like wait 72 hours instead like I have a good feeling about it but every time I search and it doesn't pop up my name it makes me like freak out and doubt myself I'm a f***ing mess what happened? I got it! Ah. okay Jay search the website Search the website. Thanks, babe.
I passed. Oh, that's the official result. That's my license. <laughs> Why? What did you think I was calling you for? I, I don't know. Why did you think I failed, Lola? It's tapat sabi do sa sa buke. It's either that you do you do very well or you did very poor. Oh, search it so you can see my name. See Doris. So annoying. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. How come he doesn't say when you took it? So by now you probably can tell that I um, have been searching my the website, the Breeze website, for a couple hours now, and I just found out. <sighs> and my computer's not charging for some reason. Okay. I'll talk about it later, but like, I don't know why it updated so late. I was looking on Reddit, like if you can look through my history. If you look through my history, I was looking up like how, when did California get it? Because if you don't know, California doesn't offer quick results. So I was like, okay, I took it on Saturday. Should I check like Tuesday? And yeah, I might just update my, I might send out the emails right now anyway. Um, because I need to update my I'm so out of fun. Anyway, it's like 1 a.m. now because time has gone by and and yeah, so I just got my thing. I I I don't even know how to explain it. I'm gonna explain it maybe tomorrow. Ugly, like throughout the whole three days. So I'll just see you guys in the morning. Mm -hmm.